guys, what's up? BC coming back at you guys with another Transformers video review. This time we're going to, take, bleh, going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime First Edition Optimus Prime. But we're going to be doing things a little bit differently today. Um, I am joined by a good and very, very good friend of mine, Jackal24884. Say hi, buddy. Hello, YouTube. Okay, repeat that. I had to turn the volume up. Hello, YouTube. Okay, so yeah. He's going to be helping me out by giving me his uh, opinions on the figure as well. So first things first, as usual with BC's channel, we start with vehicle mode. Um, all around, I, I really, I prefer the vehicle mode of this way over the, the Powerizer. Where does Jekyll stand on that? Yeah, I like it too. It's like more screen accurate because it has more of the curved force than what the weaponizer. I mean, I'm working at the weaponizer and yeah. Yeah. Um, weaponizer I'm not getting, but this just blah. <laughs> and as you can clearly tell, mine isn't 100% authentic because as you can see right there, I painted the figure. I painted I painted him up a little bit with some red. Yeah, I think some people do that. Yeah. So yeah, um I really don't oh wait, I I have a deluxe class figure in vehicle mode right now. Um here is a Phantom, which as you can see I put a Decepticon logo on him. That is from the Arms Micron Breakdown sticker set that those two spare uh, Decepticon symbols I used on on him and Galvatron. But anyways, I digress. There you go, there's the size. Pretty decent. Pretty damn close too. Now, um, should I do another size comparison or should I transform them? I don't have anything else in vehicle mode though. Crap. Uh, oh well. You know what? Screw it. Let's transform them. My show. My show. Do what I want. So first things first, we're going to pop off the gun. And the sword. Without throwing them all over the place. And then, after that, we're going to take the top, the roof section of the truck. Yank this back. Like that. Sp split it. There. Lift this up. And then split the back. Flip the, the trailer hitch in like that. Stop falling over. Ugh. Pegging the leg. Peg the legs in. And then open up the feet. And then once you do that. Hold that straight down. And there you go. There is the legs. Now if you can give me, now if you can give me just a second so I can raise the camera up. So we can get a look at his top half. Now coming to the front of the truck, what we're going to do is we're going to split the grill, lift it up like that. I'm going to kind of get these out of the way because then we're going to come to the sides and lift these panels up like this. Unpeg the hood from there and then lift this whole piece up by that hinge and then just rotate this piece all the way around until you hear it click. It's not nearly as much of a sexy click as first edition Starscream but it's something. Sexy click. <laughs> Anyways, um, back here you come and you lift his head up. Get these out of the way. And, uh, am I doing anything wrong? No, it's all going good. Okay, good. Anyways, you fold these in. And kind of pop them onto the back. 
and then lift these up over it, which gives you a, a pretty damn close to screen accurate back section for him. Yeah. Better than the weapon, yeah, a lot better. No lie there. <clears throat> and it was you split all this, and then this opens up, and kind of peg it all together, and then peg his shoulders in right there, and then you rotate, and then you rotate his shoulders. Okay, come on, rotate. There we go. Rotate his shoulders down like that. And then his arms, what we're going to do, is we're going to rotate them like that. Kind of, oh, kind of bring this panel out a little bit to fold it up like that. Flip up his wrist and then wrap this whole thing around his arm. And there you go. That's one of my major issues with this. This, this one leg just refuses to stay in there. Now, of course, we do the same thing to the other side. The thing will actually work. See what happens when I let Jekyll handle things around here? Oh, damn it, Jekyll! Yay! <laughs> Everything just goes smoothly with the Jekyll. <laughs> yeah, um, this is BC show, bro. But anyways, with all that said, um, there is the first edition Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And, um, can you say bad effing ass? Bad effing ass? How dare he? Um, <laughs> uh, keep in mind, bro, they can't see you. They can't see all your weird faces. <laughs> but yeah, as far as, as far as accessories go, ow, ow. Whoops. Give me just a second. Okay, so back to what I was uh, saying about First Edition Optimus Prime. As far as accessories go, um, he has his super rubbery sword, which I actually did a little bit of research on this. And this is actually the proper way the blade is set for in the show. You can try and argue with me on that, but if you actually look at the show model, you'll see it. Just trust me on that, you'll see it. And he's got the black gun. Which I considered putting some, uh, I, I considered using my uh, silver sharpies on this, but over time I was like, I ah, screw it. Yeah, but then Dr. Wu came out of nowhere and made the silver guns. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then everybody was like, fuck! Anyways. Um, yeah. Now that we have him in robot mode. My, here are my thoughts on it right now. This is dead sexy. <laughs> I mean, this is just, I love, I love. Jackal can testify on this. I gushed over this figure for hours on Skype. Oh yes, oh yes, I can totally testify on that. First edition bulkhead is just, ugh. Oh. He's cool, don't get me wrong. First edition Prime is cool, but he's nothing in comparison to Bulkhead. Bulkhead just pulls off so many neat tricks. But right now, let's do some size comparisons with other Voyagers. So here so here we go. Here's the size comparisons. Here he is next to uh, Blaster, which he, from the looks of things, is a little shorter. Um, Can, can you see that, Jackal? Yeah, I can see that. I can see a little tiny, just more taller with Blaster than Blaster. Okay, now, um, the one figure that everybody on the mousetrap and, um, everybody, uh, and specifically Justin Simpson and the Jackal himself are really jealous of me for, uh, FOC Grimlock. So, yeah, as you can see, there's, that's a, that, that, two dead sexy figures. Come on, I had to. Um... A figure that I have yet to review, which I might end up doing after this one because I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a dick like that. Ultra, Ultra Magnus, yep. As you can see, since he's the first edition, he is a little bit taller than this one. And of course another one that I might end up doing tomorrow, if he stays together, which I'm pissed. 
which I'm kind of pissed about this one. Um, there's the Beast Hunters Prime, which it doesn't look like it on camera. It really doesn't look like it. But when you're looking at them dead on, Beast Hunters Prime is actually a lot bigger than first edition. Oh, and before I take them off camera, um, I finally, I, I was kind of pissed about the fact that um the Star Saber was green. So I painted it silver. Yeah. Official images came out that approved that the Star Saber was green. Really? Imagine it's purple or gold. I mean. <sighs> That's all I have to say to that. Now, before we get into the super sexy close up, let's get into his articulation. And how far is his articulation? Limited in one area. And that is his head, which drives me nuts. For how great this head looks, it can barely move. It can go from side to side, no problem. It can do a full it can do a full 360 spin around. Just the problem is when you go to make him look up. There's his head. <laughs> so yeah. What the hell? Um full 360 movement within the shoulders. Um, I guess if you Mistransform, you can make his shoulder do that, but that's really, really messed up looking. Um, his arms go up like that, and they move the shoulder pad out of the way, which I love articulated shoulder pads. I don't know why. I just do. Um, he rotates at the bicep, and then he bends at the elbow, and a neat little uh, trick with this. Sorry, guys. As I was saying, um pulling this out. Shocking enough, he actually has a wrist swivel. Yeah, the, the 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 powerizer did the whole up and down where he could go hi yeah! Whereas this actually has a wrist swivel. So that's always nice. Um no waist joint sadly, though I guess you could technically count that as a waist joint, but that's basically breaking his spine. Yeah. Um, hips, I'm a little, yeah, um, hips, I'm a little disappointed in, um, cause they're only, cause they're on this double hinge system, and then I bust his leg, um, anyways, he has a swivel at the knee, he bends at the knee, pretty decent 90 degree bend there, and the one thing this figure does better than the deluxe is ankle movement. You can actually rotate his ankles for a much more flat appearance. Now, switching this to um, be up close, whoops, up close and uh, personal, we can get a good look at him. Up close. And as you can see, there's the pretty little head sculpt. And as we cycle through this figure, just kind of just try to collect all the detail. Granted, my quality of video is not as high caliber as most others, but for what it is, it's awesome. Now, um, yeah. Just sit there, stare at him. I know that's what Jackal's doing. Yep. Hopefully him sometime this year. Just really just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous toy. Now my usual gag, um, recommendations, which that's pretty much means the end of the review, um, would I recommend first edition Optimus Prime? You know what, um, 
if you really disliked the po the powerizer and the weaponizer, I would say get him. He's the definitive. But if you're on a budget, get the powerizer. Cuz the powerizer, to be completely honest, it's not bad. But if but if you already have this, don't even bother with the powerizer. I mean, you know, and again, yeah, the paint on his doors, that was done by me. When you if you do get this figure, you will and you will most likely have brown doors. I have yet Yeah, but like you never know. You might actually end up finding one that was actually the first release. Yeah. Well, I mean I know some people did. Did somebody find hmm? Did somebody find one that had the paint on the doors or no? Yeah, there was two releases of the the doors were painted and the second release was the, uh, the doors were bronze. Ah. The bonnet's kind of stupid, actually. Yeah, I, I do I do too. That, 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 that really kind of killed this figure for a lot of people. But you know what? If you can get past the brown, the brown doors, pick this up if you see him. Just totally do it. Even though I'm a little late on this. Uh, yeah, guys, come on, do it. At any rate, that's it. Um, this is BC and the Jackal saying stay nerdy and get your geek on unless you have your own catchphrase. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Yeah. So as I usually say, stay nerdy and get your geek on. I will catch you guys next time.